Uh, number six is vicious with your time. This is, this could be for anyone actually. Vicious with your time. Who's wasting your time? What's wasting your time? Social media, government, your cell phone, YouTube clips, except for obviously my channel, movies, just reality TV. What, like, what, what are you doing in your life that you're just, you're just bullshitting around? You're just wasting time. What, who, what activities, what are you doing? What are you filling your life with? You have to be vicious. Are you on time? Are you not on time? Okay, be, if someone disrespects your time, say, listen, I gotta be somewhere. If someone disrespects my schedule or my time, I let them know because I wasn't always like that. I wasn't vicious with my time. We only have one try at this. We only have one shot. We have only one opportunity. I don't wanna pull the Eminem song out, but it's true. There's only one at bat, life. We, we, don't, we don't get, this is it, you know? Be vicious with your time. Spend it well. It's valuable. It's the only thing you can't get back. All right, give back. So give back is one of those things that, you know, a lot of, and, and when, when I was, became the asshole, I never complimented. I never, I never wanted to admit I liked things. And that was the thing, is I, I never gave back. Giving back doesn't always have to be time and money. It could be giving back in saying a compliment or opening the door or giving back in feedback. Be like, that's awesome. That was really cool what you did. Or that was really funny. I was never vulnerable because I never wanted to, to, to seem that way. You know, so you have to give back in multiple, uh, uh, multiple, uh, you have to be giving, giving value, giving yourself. You know, if, if you're not giving, you're taking. And taking is insecurity, it's validation, it's approval, it's, it's all that. So continuing on because uh, it gets better. Creates a path, you have to have a path. If you don't have a path, where are you going? What are you doing? That was me up until about 25 years old. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Probably 27 or 28. I had no idea. Vision? A vision board? Goals? What the hell are you talking about? Like, yeah, no, I just wanna, I want, I want a good body. I wanna, I, want, I wanna be healthy. I wanna have some money. I wanna be debt free. I wanna, dude, what are you talking about? What's your five year goal? What's your 10 year goal? What's your 15 year goal? I already said this in another video. Spend a weekend, cut off everything, in, including this, and you literally say, what do I want to be in my health, in my wealth, in my relationships, in my happiness, in my family life, in my free time? What are my passions? Learn your identity. Learn where you want to go and you go towards that. You need to have a path, a, a, a clear cut vision of what you want to create. Because to be honest, up until this year, it was like I had an idea, I didn't have an idea. Now I'm like, this is what I want to do. I'm on my path. Perfect example, I, I got a, a text message from a girl that we went out on a couple days. We saw each other for maybe two and a half, three months. She moved out to uh, Denver. And she shot me, uh, shot me a text and she said, hey, listen, uh, I might be coming to New York, moving back to New York. I was like, oh, cool. And, you know, we started talking. And she's oh, you know, what's your dating life? And I said, you know, I'm not looking for anything serious. And it kind of turned her off, but you know, she's like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, she didn't know how to react because I don't know if guys say that, but I was upfront. I'm like, if, if you're looking for something serious, I can't give that to you right now. You know, I don't know if you're looking for a boyfriend or, or a husband or whatnot, but my path, that my, my health, my business, actually I would say my family's number one. And then my health and really close is my business. And then finding my relationships and everything else because I know in my 30s, I have to create. I have to create, I have to produce. I know where I'm going. So I told her that those are my priorities because to be honest, I saw a lot of my friends, they got married, they, they're, they're not on their path anymore. You know, they, they're, not, they're not going to the gym as much, they're not eating well, they're not, you know, I don't care about going out because I don't go out that much as well because my path is waking up early and ha it's not waking up hungover, it's waking up early and being energized to create for the day. All right, number nine is gratitude. You have to be gracious. If you're not gracious about men and women that were before you, then uh, you, you, like, you're not gonna appreciate anything that you're gonna get in the future, whether that's money or children or a spouse or a job opportunity or an audience or a book deal, anything. You're not gonna appreciate it because if you don't have gratitude right now, nothing in the future is gonna give you gratitude. You get that million dollars, you get that body, you get that iPhone, you get that new CD or whatever the hell you want, you get that? You're not gonna be happy because you're not grateful now. No, 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 Charles, you don't understand. When I get that, I'm gonna be gracious. I'm telling you right now, you will not be. I thought when I moved out on my own, I'm gonna be happy. I wasn't. My apartment was too small, so I got a bigger apartment. I said, you know what? I'm gonna be gracious now. I'm gonna be happy now because I have a bigger apartment. I got that bigger apartment, wasn't happy. Then I said, you know what? I gotta, I gotta move a little bit, into, I gotta move to a better area within the city and have that same apartment. I got that. I still wasn't happy. It's, it, it comes down to right now, how are you, how are you treating yourself? How are you treating 
people around you. Are you grateful for the relationship, your health, everything? Every single morning, I have a morning routine where I'm, I, I say three things in my mind that I'm grateful for. My health, people in my life, and anything miscellaneous. Maybe the, the heat that's on, or the lights that are on, or that I have housing, or I have food, or I have clothing, or something like that. Something extremely small. Be gracious. All right, number 10, resilient. Wow, this is a long video. Resilient. Resilient means when you face something, when you face, because you are, when you face a downturn, when you face bankruptcy or divorce or, or a breakup, or you don't make a sports team, or someone says fuck you, or you get into a fight, or you break your leg, or you, you blow out your knee, or you, you tore an ACL, what do you, how do you react? What do you do? Do you just say, oh, I'm a victim? And then you never play that sport, you never try again, you never get into a relationship, you never start a new job. You never create another product, another service, or you say, you know what, I'm gonna make it better, I'm gonna come back better. Name me an athlete who hasn't, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, uh, uh, Peyton Manning, blew out his shoulder. His shoulder isn't even attached to his body, and he goes out and he wins the Super Bowl. And he'll say, well, it's a great defense. You know what, he easily could have said, I'm retired. Name me a great athlete that didn't go through a season, career ending injury and didn't come back and come back stronger. That's someone that's resilient. An incredible book called, I think that's Relentless by Timothy Grover. I think that's it. Have to read it. Unbelievable. All right, number 11. I'm gonna go through this fast because it's obviously uh, pushing it. Number 11 is a leader. Okay, so two things. People are tired just in life. They're just tired. They're just tired. I don't know why, but they're just tired. They're not full of life. They're not full of vigor. They're not full of gratitude. They're not full of appreciation. 80% of the people are not. Only 10% and then the other 10% are just, they've just given up. 10% have given up. 80% are just sheep. And then you have the 10%, 10% given up. 80% sheep, 10% leaders. That's you guys and girls. All right. So a leader is, most people are tired. All right, so a leader leads because there's no one else that can. No one else will step in, in, in the spotlight and take CEO because if shit goes down, you're the first one to go. Chopping block, bye-bye coach, even though it was your team. Bye-bye star, star quarterback. Bye-bye, it was you. Bye-bye teacher, whatever the case is, manager, whatever, who's the father's fault, you know. A leader leads because most people are tired and most people, they, they, they don't know how to lead. So learn how to lead comfortable making decisions, stands by those decisions. And that leads me to number 12, which is decisive. You don't wallow. This was me for a while, is that I wallowed. I was a big little baby. I was like, what, what kind of food do I want? You know, what do I like in a girl? What do I, what do I want to do in life? Ugh. You can't wallow. Yes, you can wallow, but make a decision own that decision, and if it's wrong, you admit you're wrong. Th that was the biggest thing is, I, I never admitted I was wrong. <laughs> I was never wrong, I was never wrong, but then that also makes you never right, all right? So have an awesome day. Uh, so solution-oriented, takes action, independent, continuous expansion, strong identity, vicious with, the, vicious with your time, gives back, creates goals and a path, grateful, resilient, and a leader. Grateful means that at any time something can be taken away from you. So have an awesome day. Subscribe to the video. Leave your comments below. I know this was super long. Talk to you soon.